A Valley Salon closes its doors, leaving customers with gift cards out of luck. Yeah, some of those customers spent hundreds with the company promise it was a better deal in the long run. We sent Brittany Thomason out to Dolce Salon and Spa in the Scottsdale Quarter. So what now, Brittany? Well, on Facebook, you'll see lots of stories of people upset because they feel like they wasted money on the gift cards. Dolce's owner didn't respond to our question asking if customers could get their money back. Clients tell me they feel like they fell for a bad deal. Drive past Dolce Salon and Spa. You'll see it. But the doors are locked on this closed business. I never thought something like that would happen. And that's exactly why Corrine Adams had no problem buying a gift card when a Dolce employee said it would save her money. I'm grateful for that, that mine's only like $60, I think, left. I do feel really bad for all the people who have $300. Like, I could not, I would be even more mad if that was the case. Adams called her bank, which told her it can't reimburse her. It's just a crappy thing to do to people. Like, if you know that you're going to go bankrupt, then just stop the services. Let your employees know it's Christmas. The holiday is why one woman says she's letting Dolce clients spend the useless gift cards at her spa in Phoenix. It's Christmas. So we believe in giving. Skin Addict was born out of um, giving. We've always been givers here, so we just figure we want to give again. Shannon Piano saw the Dolce client posts online and decided she wanted to help. I feel bad for them because they are out their money and they don't get services and nobody, everybody was kind of left with no answers. Hopefully this takes some pressure off of them and relief and hopefully um, they'll come here and love us and they can stay with us. The owner of Dolce Salon and Spa tells us a changing industry forced her out of business. How? She says people wanted to go to smaller salons instead of larger businesses like Dolce. In the newsroom, Brittany Thomason for Arizona's Family.